Fellas, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going back to kind of an older, uh, the true fans of this channel will remember this camera angle. Yeah, uh, this is what we used to do all the time, but now we never do that camera angle. Anyway, let's get into today's video. We got for you the top 10 Brickmania minifigures. Yes, that's right, the top 10. Now this is my favorite. Dave has his own list. He has yet to reveal that list to me, partly because he doesn't have his list right now, but he's going to in a couple weeks, so we'll have his favorite. But for now, we're going to take a look at my favorite top 10 minifigures so from is, Brickmania. Is Coming in at number 10, this is the German Barbarossa Officer minifigure with a P38 over-molded gun. So uh, he's got a custom hat up there with some awesome printing. He's got the full 360 printing, a pretty standard from Brickmania. This is part of their Barbarossa, Operation Barbarossa line. Really, really cool. You got the Iron Cross there, all the details, all the fun little things. Yeah, very awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, number 10. And again, if they're 10 on this list, I love them. I love all my minifigures. Like, there's only a couple that I don't really like. Most of them I love. Ooh, that's an idea so, for another video. 10 worst my... mini minifigures? Who knows? I mean, there isn't 10. There's like one, but or a couple. But anyway, yeah, the nine on this list is the 1st Minnesota Regiment Union guy. And they fought at Gettysburg, notably. And I think we have a video describing their history on this channel, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, it's a really cool minifigure. You got a perfect caliber caplock musket there. Um, a nice detail, a nice kepi there, printed. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I can guarantee you Dave is not going to have this one on his list. But coming in at number eight, we have Larry Wilcox from the Chips uh, Motorcycle. So, yeah, very, very cool minifigure here. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I love the California Highway Police, or patrolmen, whatever they are. They're just really cool. I actually got the helicopter yesterday, and so that should be a review coming out soon. But yeah, I don't know why, but I just really like the idea of building out a CHP army, or like division, and for my city. I don't know why, but anyway. You yeah, may change cool. your tune after I force you to watch a few reruns of Chips. Um, I'm not sure it's yeah. aged all that well. I don't think I like. I would like the show, but I love the minifigure. Okay, fair enough. Quotation marks, War Daddy, also known as Brad Pitt, also known as the guy from Fury. Yeah, that's right. This is Brad Pitt from the movie Th Fury they had in the Hollywood Adam Pack, plus the hair from uh, the Broomsday Pub. Um, so yeah, this is kind of, I, this is a minifigure you would have to have two sets to do, but, um, it's a really cool minifigure, love the movie, um, love the set, yeah, it's awesome. He's sporting a typical tanker, a jacket there, or tanker, uh, clothing, and he's got a pistol and a knife, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. At number six here, we got the Buffalo Soldier. Oh, yes, baby. this guy is awesome. You got those spurs back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy is really cool. Um, a lot of detail on this guy. It's actually more of a more recent minifigure from Brickmania. And it's got that uh, sharps with scope on it. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. And you also got that Colt. Uh, is that a Colt 50 or... Uh, it's probably, oh, that's a single action army. Yeah, a single action army. Um, with a pearl handle. With a pearl handle. And at number five, one of my all time favorite minifigures, John Paul Jones. Yes, that's right. Has a awesome printed hat there. His expression is just so flat, but yet so expressive at the same time. I have not yet begun to fight. Yes. You and me. Sir, sir, sir. Yes, um, very, very cool. A lot of detail on this minifigure. Um, surprisingly, no, I don't think, yeah, there's no under the arm printing, but um, still very, very detailed. For here, a little bit of an older Brickmania minifigure. Probably the oldest one on this list. War Daddy might come close. But the White Death from Finland. We actually have four of these guys. I don't know why, because they're named characters, but still very, very cool. You love anything with the Finn army. Yes, I have... I have a, I have a whole Finnish army up there, so yeah. But this guy, really, really cool, and um, yeah, he's one of a kind. He's got that white uh, cloak uh, hood kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He's got arm printing. He's got detail printing everywhere. Just a really, really cool minifigure um, with a Mosin Dagon perfect caliber rifle. So yeah, really, really cool stuff on this figure. 
and he's awesome. So you can have a winter war any time of the year. Honorable mentions. And these guys, boy, are these guys awesome, and I wish they, I wish, I was going to do top 20, but then I thought that would take too long, so we did a top 10, but these guys are awesome. I love the colonial, um, the whole colonial era, the um, Revolution War was just awesome. I, I don't know what to say, but they're two awesome minifigures, classics from Brickmania, and um, yeah, <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah. Three on this list. Dun, 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 dun. We have the Roman Archer. Yes, that's right. They did a Roman line. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. We got four of these guys, and hopefully, when we build our Roman fort, we will have these guys sporting the walls. Just really, really cool. Muscle detail there on the side uh, arm. Got uh, that really, really cool 3D printed helmet there. Um, printing all the way around. It's just a very, very uh, awesome design. I believe this is, most of the, these ones are designed by Lando, but this one is actually designed by Drew. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. And um, he did an awesome job. Might be noticing the theme. It's Roman, and this is the minifig of the month of, I believe, August, or maybe it was September, but this is the Roman Legionnaire. So he comes complete with uh, the spear there, a custom printed shield, and now this piece, a little bit of a finicky piece because it doesn't really always want to attach, but it's still cool nonetheless. Got a 3D printed arm armor piece, and then a 3D printed helmet piece. So the way this uh, armor just wraps around this figure is just, quite frankly, awesome and i love it the great thing also you got that tunic piece down there designed this is designed by amanda feek feek yes amanda feek did this one so typically all these were lando but amanda and drew coming out here at come finishing strong on your 32. list yes so very very cool in the number one spot we have a minifigure that i actually won from brick mania brick mania occasionally has these giveaways on instagram and usually it's after the randoverse has concluded their like wave that they do every year of the rando figs and they have a horde leader which they give away on instagram i managed to win this said figure and it consists of the body of a Roman centurion. Yes, it's a Roman. Yes. And it has the, I believe, the, um, it has like shades on. And you'll see it in a second. And it also has the hairpiece of Dan Siskin, um, his hair uh, back. I don't know if he still has that hair, but, it, you know, his signature hair. So, uh, here's the figure. I'm pretty sure this is what Dan would look like if he was back in time in the Roman days. But, uh, yeah, this is an awesome awesome minifigure it has so many great details little intricate parts um this is really cool because it's textured printing you can kind of see from the camera there that you know there's a uh, raised printing there for all of his medals and stuff which is just really really cool and you get this figure only with the purchase of a one thousand five hundred dollar kit which is the roman barracks kit which we actually have we haven't built it yet sadly but um we're going to soon but this figure just awesome um i'm not really quite sure who designed this i would assume lando but i'm not entirely sure on that but uh, whoever did did a phenomenal job and this is by far my favorite minifigure and is this the leader of all your minifigures the, i would the, assume the, so. the one that leads them all yes the one above them all i would believe so that was our top 10 Brick Mini minifigures. Again, um, just because they're our top 10, it doesn't mean that we don't like all of our other figures. We probably, I don't know how many others. Yeah, we have a ton. It doesn't mean that two weeks from now we might come up with a different list. Yes, just depending on know. what they release or, right. or how things change. How we're thinking. So uh, Dave will give his list in the comments. Or Dave will give his list in a couple weeks. So yeah, commenters Mine's get, gonna get be hyped. Little, mine's going to be a bit different. Are there any that... Are there any things that would be the same for my list to your list? Maybe you'll have to stay tuned. Oh, stinky. All right. Well, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share for all that, but especially subscribe, turn on all notifications because you don't want to miss that video when it releases. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you. Yeah. Let us know your top favorite minifigures. Yeah. On the next one, thanks for watching and goodbye.